Good morning and welcome. Thank you very much for accepting this interview. It's Olga Balaklitz, Russian born and London based, a famous award winning concert pianist, who appeared at many international musical festivals. She is also a CEO of international events company and some production, which organizes num numerous cultural and philanthropic projects worldwide in the most prestigious venues, such as the Royal Opera House, London Coliseum, Royal Albert Hall, Teatro dell'Opera di Roma, uh, Frankfurt Alter Opera, Cairo Opera House, and many, many others. She's a founder and CEO of uh, an international platform, Creative Women, since 2016, promoting a successful female entrepreneurs with a creative approach to business. Olga has been acting as an advisor on cultural matter to various government and particularly closely works with the Minister of Culture of the Russian Federation, Cyprus and Kong, with the Mayor of London, British Parliament, the Russian State Duma and the President Palace of Cyprus. For her service, she has been awarded prestigious awards. So, uh, the first question is, you have achieved the top result in your career. You are international well known as a sexual woman. Would you like to give some advice to other women in order to achieve the same results? Thank you. Thank you so much again for inviting me to be part of this interview, a wonderful program. Really a pleasure to answer your questions. Well, I think all the women who achieved something, uh, they will have different approaches and different advices they could give to other women. And of course, we are all very different and we have different ideas about the success. We have different ideas of our goals. And of course, we have very different personalities. Some personalities, and especially female, they can be fragile, they can be vulnerable, they can be insecure, and they're not even sure if they want to, uh, to become a, re a real achiever in, in their lives. And in some cases, they would like to achieve something, but they're not sure if they're capable of this because of their insecurities, maybe sometimes even feeling I'm a woman, can, can I do this? And of course, this is a question which is uh, coming to so many uh, of us. And with the IWIN uh, organization, this is something you're addressing very, very strongly. Uh, my advice for every woman who think, thinks she would like to be successful and she would like to achieve something, uh, probably quite a simple uh, advice, really follow your, uh, your heart and your vision. Uh, follow your, your dreams, your aspirations, because uh, whatever our personality uh, is, is, but we, we do have our, our dreams. We, we feel we want to be somewhere. So starting with following your, your dreams and your aspiration is a very, very good start. Then depending on your, on your personality and if you really think that you you can be a leader, you would like to achieve more, then of course uh, you have to do lots of self-development. Uh, it can include many different things. It, it can uh, start even from conversations with yourself, questioning yourself and getting answers to certain questions. Um, it is of course um, taking advice from uh, other ladies from um, motivational speakers by attending courses, by reading books, by throwing yourself in as many activities and experiences as possible because from every um, experience and from um, every association uh, you can become part of, you can learn something, you can gain something. Uh, because your own experience and your own perception of life, of success is one thing, but of course you can always, always learn and gain from, from others. So try to, to surround yourself by uh, women, since we are talking of course about women, right. um, try to be a 
part of other powerful female organizations see what they do, uh, be, become part of it, learn from them, be inspired, be motivated, of course, interact um, with them. And of course, keep, keep asking your, uh, yourself, what is what you want, who you are in this life, what, what you would like to achieve. So this constant conversation with yourself, self-improvement and trying to, to learn from others. And of course, never give up, never uh, be afraid of taking any risks and never to give up to achieve something you really, really uh, want to reach in this life. Good, thank you very much for this suggestion. Uh, what would you like to change in your job in order to improve the work-life balance? Another very, very good question uh, we're all asking ourselves. And of course, um, women who are multitasking and who uh, occupy themselves with so many, many uh, activities, they find very, very difficult sometimes to find their balance, in, even if they find time and energy to do different jobs, to do different projects. Uh, very often, uh, including myself, by the way, I'm a little bit guilty of this. Uh, very often they neglect uh, own life uh, and lifestyles and they simply even don't have enough time to rest and to have uh, and to live healthy life. And of course, this is no good because only uh, you, you can do and work very, very hard uh, so much until certain point after which um, your, your body, your mind will simply get exhausted. And of course, we, we, we know um, this is not the right way. We have to find this balance. So we have to be, of course, super, super uh, organized. Uh, uh, basically, we, we have to plan not every hour of our day, but almost uh, sometimes we have to plan to minute what we do and put things which are important for your health and for your for your private life, for your family life as an important part of your life. And, and you have to be super organized. You have to be aware of necessity to include all, all these uh, elements uh, in, your, in your schedule. And you simply have to schedule to have even pleasure. <laughs> Oh. This is, this is uh, uh, it might sound uh, strange and, 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 and funny, but th this is how it is. We have to structure and organize our, our pleasure and our rest and put it into our daily schedule. And we have to keep working on this. We have to keep uh, improving this in order to achieve this, this balance. But um, sometimes it's not very difficult, including me. I'm, I'm very often suffering and not managing very well. But recently I, uh, I've been improving and I'm planning to keep working on this because um, healthy life, balanced life um, uh, is something which will sustain your success in your work and, and in your business achievements. Good, thank you. Uh, have you ever experienced discrimination in um, the workplace or anywhere else? Well, uh, the my profession, of course, um, as you kindly announced my my biography, uh, I, I was uh, brought up and trained as a um, as a musician, as a performing musician. Uh, but quite a few years ago, I've started um, a company organizing events and became an entrepreneur and a businesswoman, uh, one of the company. Uh, in the entertainment uh, industry, which is absolutely uh, male dominated, uh, there's no question of that. And why? Because especially, especially when you when you deal with big projects, big international projects with large budgets, with many people, with many challenges, uh, sometimes even political, and uh, many many different kind of challenges on different levels. It is is very very difficult uh, for many women to to actually <laughs> to to sustain this and to be in this industry and, and therefore it is very much uh, male dominated. However, when you start doing this, um, occasionally, I would not uh, say in my case, fortunately, that I felt that I was discriminated, but for sure, for sure. 
I experienced uh, um, in different times of uh, my, my career and possibly not recently um, because after so many years when I've established my name and I, I became known in, um, in, in the area I was working. But at earlier stages, I definitely, definitely uh, on various occasions felt that if I would be man, mm -hmm. Uh, I would be treated differently, I would be given more, I, I would be um, supported more, where it should be other way around, women should be <laughs> helped more. Uh, there's no question, I, I did have this experience and um, I, I felt it was not quite fair, uh, but fortunately nothing really, really dramatic uh, to, to report on this matter in my case, but th this is, you see, this comes also with, with the personality. If you do have a strong personality and believe that it's not fair and women should have in whatever profession, whether it's financial world or entertainment industry, um, you have the same uh, rights as a man and you should be given the same, uh, the same opportunities as the man. And if you have this belief and strong personality, then then you will be able to sustain, overcome this difficulty. And um, this is, I think, what, what uh, I've managed to achieve. Um, uh, otherwise, of course, of course, um, uh, I'm part of the world and I do see uh, in, in politics and in different kinds of businesses, again, male dominated businesses that uh, unfortunately women are still not treated the same way. And of course, we, we have to change it. We have to work on this and we have to keep as women and female organizations, we, we have to be strong together in this and we have to finally end this. We have to change. Okay. Uh, in your opinion, what opportunity can the WIN platform offer for young women who are pursuing a career in medicine? What they can do in order to achieve their goals? And well, I, I will say, talking, listen to your talk, what can we uh, tell young women? Because this is not medicine, this is not entrepreneurship, this is not politics, it's really transverse. And uh, I'm so glad we are collaborating and I'm representing you as much as you're representing me because this should be an example of achievements that is translational, that is across boundaries and changes all the futures for young generations. So what is your view on what we can achieve working strongly with strong personalities together? What do you think, Olga? Well, first of all, uh, again, sincere congratulations on the work uh, you've started and you, you, you're developing with uh, IWIN. This is su such a fantastic um, initiative and I applaud you and I'm delighted that with Creative Women Platform, which now uh, you became a part of and representing, we could, we could together work together in a very creative and, and very progressive way uh, because Creative Women um, is for... Uh, female in entrepreneurs and activists from different um, areas of expertise, including medicine and critical care. And th this area is, uh, of course, so much more um, male do dominated. And uh, what you're doing is amazing. Uh, what, uh, what can you do? You, um, you, have, to, you have to reach uh, as many uh, young women, women who are already um, in, in the medicine and the critical um, care and give them your, your support and believe that uh, they, they can achieve as much as, as men doing what they're doing. You're, um, of course, planning so many different events and you, uh, you, you can do various workshops. You, you can um, interview and, and bring to, to the world and to the light, uh, many ladies in critical care all around the world, Francesca, uh, what, what you're already doing to show their wonderful work and what they um, what they achieve and to, and to show that they're absolutely fantastic and they should not be looked at as uh, 
second uh, tier, second second sword. They they're as good as men, and they're doing this extremely life life important uh, job because uh, without this work, what what can happen? Uh, you're saving lives, and this is really the most the, the most important thing. Uh, so you have to encourage this, ladies. To, for, um, you have to congratulate them for what they're already doing, for choosing this uh, difficult um, and difficult for women uh, profession. Uh, you have to congratulate them. You have to bring them. You have to interview them. They have to show their their work. You you have to um, maybe do some uh, even documentary about the work which would be I think really really fantastic um, and what is really important to develop this work really globally in so many countries around the world uh, and to bring them to light and to make them even stronger and of course by all this you can encourage even more women and ladies to uh, to join medical profession and to join critical care, crit critical care, um, e expertise and speciality, which maybe still many would find very challenging and would be afraid to even consider. Good. Thank you, Olga. I think Creative Woman is an incredible platform and you've been inspiring me with your webinars. So just by joining and seeing the variety of women you interview and all the events that you do every week, you just give me the idea that this is really key and that's why with the help of Sophia we hope to get more uh, experience more testimonials and I think just by listening to what you do is uh, um, uh, inspiring for new generations so thank you for introducing me to your work and giving me such good advices and thank you to Sophia for leading this uh, this project that is making I win much 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 uh, uh, progressive and creative cool. Okay, thank you so much, Mrs. Valakis, for your time, and thank you, Professor Volotta, to be with us. Good luck, uh, goodbye. Thank you so much, it was a thank pleasure. Thank you so much. Forward to the future together. Thank you so much. Looking forward to working together with you, Francesca. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye.